Thank you. Perhaps thank you. we've been spoiled with all the winners we've had. Well, I think New Orleans maybe has gotten used to winning a lot more, right? Ian McNulty says it was slightly surprising that the Crescent City didn't win more James Beard awards. And each one of these chefs or restaurants is judged in their own category. So it wasn't like all 10 were racing for the same finish line and only one of them made it. McNulty points out this year's winners highlighted a lot of diversity in cuisine, along with a diverse group of nominees that included more minorities and women. But even being picked as a finalist is an honor. It just seems wonderful that they would consider us. A local's favorite, Brightson's restaurant was for the first time a finalist for outstanding service. After being nominated eight times, Sandy Hansen, one of the managers, says the category has become much more competitive with more casual restaurants in the mix. I think they're realizing you don't have to be, you know, standing at attention at your table to have fine, fine service. And from one restaurant to another, Hansen congratulates this year's only winner, Chef Kelly Fields of Willa Jean, for Outstanding Pastry Chef. Chef Fields was still traveling back from Chicago where the awards were held when we tried to reach her, but she emailed us this. Winning this award has been an absolute total dream come true. It is truly an honor just to be nominated as there's no better feeling in the world than being recognized by your peers and colleagues for doing something that you love. She went on to thank her staff for their dedication. And even though this year it seemed like New Orleans was left waiting to hear more winners, McNulty says you can almost bet the city will make it far next year. In Uptown, Jacqueline Quinn, Eyewitness News. Willa Jeans, for a list of all the local finalists, go to our website, www.tv.com.